Hello everyone, welcome back to Just Invest. Today, in today's video, we are talking about Kathy Wood, man, and she's coming out hard on the Fed. She's really worried about this recession for 2022. She's worried about the stock market crash. She's worried about a lot. But honestly, she's basically saying innovation is going to solve all of these problems. Like, it's exactly what we knew she was going to say, in my opinion, because she's all about innovation and innovation is going to solve this and that. I don't know what to say about Kathy Wood, but let's get into her statements and what she's saying about the Fed. Do we agree? Do we disagree? What are we thinking about the recession concerns for 2022? The Fed seems to be worried more about its legacy than the economy. It is ignoring deflationary and dangerous signals. What has been shown to be deflationary? I feel like everything right now is inflation, inflation, inflation. Like... She keeps mentioning deflationary, but like what sector, what industry, or what area are we seeing deflationary hitting? Like, I don't understand that. Relying on the lagging inflation indicators like the CPI. I agree with that. The CPI is pretty much not the good standard. It's not a great standard to measure um, inflation because it takes a lot of stuff. It doesn't really have, I don't even think it has like housing and like power, energy. Like, it doesn't have that into the CPI. It has more like products has more like groceries, stuff like that. So the CPI is probably a bad indicator of what's happening in the real economy. The Fed Governor Waller is calling for another hike of 0.75% in July. And she's really worried about this hike. This hike is pretty much devastating for her because, man, a lot of her companies, man, are going to fall even more. Even companies that I own, like Coinbase, like probably Tesla maybe, especially with interest rates with cars. A lot of her companies are going to fall, like Zoom maybe, I don't know, maybe Zoom. Because remember, these are high PE stocks, high growth stocks with not a lot of earnings, but Zoom does earn good money, but a lot of her stocks with not enough earnings will fall because people are worried about interest rates. As we measured about the market, credit default swaps, insurance policies against bankruptcies have doubled this year. That's pretty surprising. Surpassing their peaks during the market route in late 2018 and heading for COVID crisis levels. Then she talks about the yield curve. Then she talks about the face of massive stimulus. The bond market may have recognized the deflationary forces that CDS are flagging. At the lowest end of the capitalization structure, broad-based equity indexes are seizing up as well. In our view, the U.S. fell in recession during the first quarter. I feel like that's kind of true. I feel like the recession is already kind of here. You can kind of see just like how people are acting, like the sentiment, just what's happening in the economy. I feel like the recession is kind of here, but not like at full gear, especially when you're seeing a lot of these big tech companies, a lot of companies are laying off people and the people are not doing as much shopping, spending because all these prices are inflated. If massive inventors bloat real GDP in the second quarter, they will unwind and hurt growth for the rest of the year. Alarmingly, in the early June, consumer sentiment fell to a record low, extending back to the 1940s. I kind of agree with the sentiment. The sentiment is in the trash can right now. The sentiment is at an all-time low. The consumer sentiment is lower today than the levels reached during the global financial crisis in 2008-2009. Uh, I don't know, because during that crisis, like, I wasn't really... I was aware of the crisis, but not to that extent. But from what I'm hearing, is it's like that was a time where no one wanted to lend money. Banks were scared. People were afraid of buying. Sentiment was down in the dirt. Who knows? And the two recessions in the 1980 and 82, when the Fed chairman Volcker was choking 15% inflation with 20% interest rates. Volcker doubled the Fed funds from 10 to 20% in less than a year. This is during the 1970s. 1970s, 80s, where inflation was rampant, and Volcker did this extreme interest rate hike, man, and this and that pretty much stopped inflation. So, Kathy Wood is basically saying that the government right now increased the funds rate by sevenfold in the last year, and is pointing to another double from here. Its moves already here are more draconian than Volcker's. I don't believe that. Like, is that true? Sevenfold since the time of raising rates. Like, the interest rates are not even that high right now, even though it's starting from a lower base. So, probably that is true because the base where it's starting from is very low compared to where it was starting from in 1970s, 1980s when Volcker was uh, the Fed chairman. So, that could be true, but man, we need these hikes. Like, the only way we can really, truly stop inflation, and that's truly 
tested, time tested, man, is raising interest rates. So if it's sevenfold, if it's ten, if it's fifteen, it's twenty. They're gonna do what they need to do to stop inflation because that's the worst thing that's gonna happen. Having eight to nine percent inflation going out five, ten years out, twenty years out, like can you imagine if that just continues like the the rich will just be getting richer, the poor will just really, really get poor because that's who it's really affecting. So the government's gonna do everything in its power to stop inflation. If inventories and stock prices are the leading indicators for employment and wages. Uh stock prices are leading indicators for employment? I don't know about that, but it kind of seems like that because Tesla, Coinbase, like a lot of these companies, like even like Apple is kind of freezing hiring or Microsoft, Facebook, they're not hiring as much people or not doing hiring to the extent that they were. So maybe stock prices are the reasons and inventories. I agree with inventories because we're seeing inventories go sky high. People are not buying as much stuff and when you're not buying as much stuff, you don't need as many salespeople or need as many cashiers or people working on the floors. Then fears of cost push inflation 1970 should disappear during the next six months. Finally, while the cartel and war have pushed oil prices to levels I did not expect, the equivalent of a highly regressive tax has accelerated the consumer preference shift to electric vehicles. I still believe that the shift to EVs will undermine oil prices. Innovation solve problems. And this is the big key. She's saying all this will be solved with innovation. Innovation is amazing, but she has to keep focusing on investing because just innovation solving problems does not guarantee you a return. Warren Buffett always goes back to the cars. Cars was a huge innovation. There was 30, 60, 100, 1,000 new car companies coming up, but only like three left, like GM, Ford. Like those are the companies that lasted and they still claimed bankruptcy. Or I think one GM claimed bankruptcy. I'm not sure about Ford. But all of all those thousands of car makers... Think about it, not a lot of them lasted. So even with innovation solving problems, which problem or which company is going to last? That's what she has to focus on as ARC has been taking a major hit and she believes that all her companies are going to be successful, making crazy amount of monies, even though, in my opinion, I don't feel like there's a standout one with an extremely good moat. But that's her worries right now with the economy, and this is what she's talking about on Twitter. She's going crazy <laughs> on Twitter about this. So, what do you think about Kathy Wood's statements and her thoughts and her thought process on what's happening in the economy? Please leave a like and subscribe. Peace.